Another day, another pathetic YouTube prankster making the world a worse place. Desperate for clout, a new ghoul has taken a bite of the forbidden fruit known as trash pranks. They wanted attention from the internet, but in fact, all they got was attention from authorities since they were arrested because they did something truly foul. A 22-year-old man from Belgium aspired to be the next great YouTuber and hatched this idea where he would dump a bucket of shit and other fluids onto train riders for his YouTube channel. According to the prosecutor's office, he would fill buckets with diverse substances like paint, excrement, and food, and then throw them at passengers, basically just making stink bombs. Obviously, the motivation here was to become a social media sensation, a superstar. This was uh, his ticket to the big time. He wanted to create a career out of this shit, put his name up in lights. But instead, all he got was his name on a rap sheet here. I also appreciate that most of the sources reporting on this story aren't using this guy's actual name or even his online handle for the most part, which I think is great because clearly it's all for attention, and if nobody knows who this is, the only attention he gets is from his fucking parole officer. That's the only person that knows his name now. So let's go ahead and show you the video. I have to mute the audio because of the music, but here's our protagonist. He's out collecting his ingredients and he's making a strength potion in that bucket, old school RuneScape style. He then gets his secret ingredient to the Krabby Patty formula here, dog shit, pours it in the bucket and then gets a bunch of leaves, puts those in there as well and mixes it all around and he's ready to begin his adventure. He's currently being charged with assault and battery, damage to property using violence, and property damage for this stunt here. And I hope the cameraman also faces some charges too for enabling this, filming it, and just being an accomplice to this degeneracy. This loser immediately ran away from the scene of the crime knowing full well every single person on that train could have absolutely beat his ass. He just sucks. This guy super sucks. I wish he had done us all a favor and after mixing the dog shit into that bucket, he just drank it. It'd be an infinitely better outcome if he was just doing this garbage to himself as opposed to just randomly assaulting strangers on a train to try and get clicks to his dead YouTube channel to try and find meaning for the life that he's lived that has amounted to absolutely nothing besides being reduced to a public nuisance. It's so frustrating just how common this trend is where people will just do extreme things at the expense of others to try and get any level of attention. Even though it's overwhelmingly negative, to them it doesn't matter because views are views and they hope that some of them will stick around just to hate on them or maybe a couple of them are equally as brain rotted as they are and actually enjoy it. And it's just become this fast track to at least getting some type of eyes on you, which has made it extremely appealing for young people to try. We've reached that age online where so many people have grown up their entire lives with access to the internet, so they've seen a lot of creators do similar things and get a full career out of it. And that makes it very enticing for them, so they also want to try because clout is a disease more addicting than heroin, and everyone wants a piece of it, so... They see that pranks always garner some type of headline and people talk about it. Or playing the villain online gets some people to find you. And in the modern day and age, the worst thing you can be is invisible. Or rather, the worst thing that can happen to you is being normal. Like if you don't have a social media presence, if you're not constantly on the grind to try and be a social media influencer, then you're worthless in some people's eyes. It really feels like for younger people, follower count is directly correlated to their value as a person. So they're constantly striving for ways to get that number up. And a lot of that falls onto pranks. Every single day, there's a new hopeful prankster that does some extreme shit to try and get some clicks. And this is just the most recent example of it. It's so exhausting and frustrating. It's just so fucking sad. This guy 100% deserves to be arrested. I hope he faces some kind of serious charges for this. We, we finally need to just start really bringing the, the hammer down on disruptive, dangerous pranks like these. This is something that that guy could have absolutely gotten like sick from. Like, it's, it's an assault. 
with like a fucking bioweapon here of dog shit and all kinds of other things in it. Like, you can't keep taking these things lightly just because they're portrayed as like pranks for views. It's fucking degenerate and it's it's gone on too long now. For example, we had that guy in the UK who for months was just terrorizing people like going into their homes, like the break in and entering prank, shit like that. And no real serious charges were ever brought up, so it just continued to persist for too long. But anyway, I wanted to talk about this douchebag a little bit here because I'll take any and every opportunity to put my shit in a bucket and throw it at an awful prankster like this. That's about it. See ya.